Stop reporting kidnapping, unemployment, and hardship. Tunebu tells Nigeria Media. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Nigeria's president, Bola Ahmed Tunebu, has enlisted the support of the media towards projecting the country positively to enhance investor confidence and attract the needed investment to foster economic growth in the country. The president, who was represented by the Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, made remarks at the opening of a 19th All Nigeria Editors Conference organized by the Nigerian Guild of Editors in Oyo, Akwaibam State, on Thursday. On Wednesday, your role as a primary source of information and keeping the public informed about economic trends is cut out for you. Timely and accurate reporting helps businesses make an informed decision for in a conducive environment for growth. I urge you to provide positive media coverage that can enhance investor confidence and attract the needed investment that fuel economic development in our country. The media's rules in portraying a favorable business environment contributes to the stability of financial markets, he said. President Tunembo said promoting discussions on stimulating economic growth in the country remains a central focus of his administration and called for collaborative efforts of the media efforts to sustain the discussions in alignment with the administration's renewed hope agenda. The president, who acknowledged the immediate economic impact of the removal of forced subsidy, said his administration has been taking all necessary measures to elevate the resulting pain through interventions that are designed to serve as palliatives in the short and medium term as the nation awaits the long-term benefit of the reforms. He listed some of the interventions as the provincial wage increment of 35,000 naira monthly for six months to augment the federal minimum wage, the establishment of an infrastructure support fund for state to invest in critical areas that will create an enabling environment for businesses and the launch of a 100 billion naira CNG bus roller program to deliver CNG powered buses, as well as the establishment of a presidential committee to drive implementation. With the signing into law of a 2023 supplementary budget, we have finalized the process for payment of a monthly cash transfer of 25,000 each to 15 million of the poorest and most vulnerable households in Nigeria for three months. The presidential directive for releasing 200,000 metric tons of grain from strategic reserves to households across the 36 states and FCT to moderate prices and 225,000 metric tons of fertilizer, seedlings and other inputs to farmers, he said. President Turimbo said against the backdrop of evident systematic moral decline over a long period leading to the erosion of national values, the Federal Ministry of Information and National Orientation, FMINO, Femino, is working to change a narrative in the country through the implementation of a sustained mass reorientation campaign that aims to foster unity, patriotism and the promotion of positive cultural values among Nigerians. The president called for the collective effort of the media editors to combat the menace of misinformation, disinformation and false narrative that threaten the fabric of society through fact-checking, responsible reporting and promoting media and digital literacy. He extols the founding fathers of the NGE led by late Al-Haji Latif Kaidi Jakondi, a revered journalist and a one-time governor of Lagos State, who in 1961, alongside others, established the GERD and contributed to the social political development of the country, particularly in delivering the country from the jackboots of the military and achieving democratic rule. Tenebo coming out to tell us not to, you know, tell the media not to reports to our <laughs> sincerely i'm like oh no this should not have been a problem or if this woman has approached you know has approached nigeria as in if this man has come with come through the right means and you know have been doing things that are going to be making you know and country people like him you understand he did not do it what did he do he's coming out to tell us super story now you are saying they should not know what if he now knows? 
Ensure you talk bold about your country, even if it means running information to investors. Alleged, already they know that a pedigree in lying and forgery. Tall. Foreign investors are no fools. Though. No foreign investor will consider investing his or money in the country with unstable economy. An acute security challenge. All right. President Tunumbu, you know right from my mouth self. Really? Hmm. They try to, okay. They don't want to know and they want to. They don't want to hear it. Yes, now. The investors, if they hear anything concerning, say, you know, no get good economy. Finish the matter. What do you expect ABC Batsy build on propaganda, lie and cheat? So what do you expect them to report that your government is doing? Well, look at Napping's hardship on unemployment, ETC, that this country is the safest place to invest for foreign investors. For example, please, Jagaban, our momo don't do a beg, really. I repeat, whoever is in support of bad governance will see evil in Nigeria government and in support of such evil will never end well including their children as long as you are part of those who doesn't want nigeria to progress or you are happy in bringing pain to a nigeria you shall never end well including your children and i joined the church to say amen this is an unacceptable and unfortunate attempt to gag the media no please more gag the media abada abrada man instigating nigerians to call black white it's a pity we don't enter one chance. Allow the Yubus to see us as we are. God, come and rescue us. We are dying in a land that is filling with milk and honey. We are starving in the midst of plenty. What a shame. Okay, they should give false report that Nigerians are enjoying good roads, massive employment, a minimum wage, 100,000, price of food store, very affordable, insecurity, thing of the past. One dollar it goes to one naira, be? Maybe now. I've said this and will continue to say that those that will feel the heat of the house during the regime are those that saw black and call it white during the election. For those that did not deceive themselves through their vote did not count and their voices were not heard. Peace of mind is the portion because that is the down already. Okay, that is down already. They need to fear no fall and they shall have God to be their guide. You see that man, you see that this man has started to offer Nigerians, Nigerians. So media should stop all this report and tell the world that it is well with you Nigerians. I love you, Balaf. So you want media to start pretending as a usual way and collect more loans and settle media outlets too. Mr. Settler, anything to know book cannot settle does not exist. Bullion Van, a clueless man who claimed cannot attend the presidential debate but to snatch, grab and run. <laughs> Alright, and this note you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for to listen until I come your way next time and enjoy the rest.